15 First Alert Weather Forecast. Welcome back. It's 12 minutes after 6, and yesterday was a pretty beautiful day, but the clouds hung around a little longer than initially anticipated, of course. Temperatures were still pretty great, but then we did clear out through the overnight. Did start us off with a little bit of patchy fog this morning, just something to keep in mind if you're hitting the roadways uh, anytime soon. But we will have a good bit of sunshine to take us through the day. In fact, getting close to 70 degrees by the mid-morning hours. But right now, we're starting off right around where we should be, as a lot of us are in the 40s. A couple spots are in the 30s, though, and then we do have some 50s a little further towards the west. We are going to warm up pretty quickly as a result of that sunshine, but also our winds, which will eventually pick up out of the south and get pretty breezy. Right now, though, most of us are reporting calm winds. That's also another factor that's contributed to the development of some of that patchy fog. Otherwise, we have been mainly clear. There are a few chances, or excuse me, there are a few showers that are further towards our northwest, mostly skirting through northeastern Minnesota into the Superior Duluth area at this time. But speaking of showers, we've gotten our fair share of those throughout the year thus far, and that really helped hammer away at the drought. In fact, most of us are completely out of drought conditions, though south of I-90, there are still a few spots that are classified as abnormally dry and a few parts of eastern Vernon County still under that moderate drought. But again, most of us are pretty much out of that uh, drought condition. Now for today, we'll have plenty of sunshine. However, as we do heat up pretty quickly, may get some of that instability to build later this afternoon into the evening. That may result in just a couple chances at some showers and storms. Most of us are expected to stay dry, but that's just something to Keep in mind if you have any outdoor plans later this afternoon into the evening may run into a pop-up shower or storm. Tomorrow starting off with some intervals of clouds and sun, but those winds picking up quite a bit out of the south. This does come out ahead of a front, so that's going to heat us up very quickly tomorrow too. But once that front rolls through, that'll bring a few chances at some showers, some moderate rates of rainfall as well, but most of that sticks uh, further to our east. And later tomorrow night into Sunday, we do remain mostly clear, but Sunday afternoon does bring a few intervals of clouds and sun before we have more chances for showers making their return again on Monday. For today, low 80s for a lot of us and mid 80s further towards the south as well. And we have a pretty mild night ahead of us as a lot of us stay in the upper 50s and some cases staying in the 60s. Tomorrow mid to upper 80s in the Cooley region, a slight chance at some showers and storms later tomorrow evening. Most of Sunday looks to stay dry. And then Monday is when those chances for showers make their return. Better chances arriving on Tuesday could have a few rumbles of thunder with that, but it's still a little too early to tell if any of those may turn on the severe side. It is just something that we'll keep an eye on over the next couple of days, and we stay pretty seasonable by the middle of next week. Now for a Sunshine Award, Judy Roach would like to nominate Therese Quick and said Therese is a wonderful manager of the St. Francis Apartments. She goes out of her way to help each one of us Therese makes this a home for us with the extra special touches she adds to the building. She is caring and kind and always has a smile to greet you. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com.